Hello and welcome to another quick tips and trick video. I'm Shilpan Patel from Analytics Hub where one and only one goal we have is to help you become an awesome click developer. So in today's video we want to go over cyclic dimensions in ClickSense Mashup. One of the most powerful aspects of capability API is that not only you can create mashups that are interactive, but also that users can modify chart properties on the fly dynamically. To show that power, I thought of creating a cyclic dimensions in ClickSense mashup because that will show that how your users can change property of a chart dynamically while they're interacting with the chart. Before we begin, if you like our channel, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and share our videos. So let's straight dive in and work on our example. Okay, to save time, I've created a mashup with a chart, an element in HTML with drop down list. So I have month and year and the idea here is that when users select either a year or month the dimension of the line chart should change to either year or month depending on the selection user makes so let's quickly look at the html so here's the mashup html and as you see it's a simple dimension list that I've created using a drop down select element and I have two values. I have month and a year. So month will be displayed as value month and year with year. But if I make selection on either year or month, it's not changing the chart. And the idea is when user selects either month or year, the dimension of the line chart should change from year month to either year or month. So let's start with the JavaScript code for that. I'm going to start with jQuery selector to select on the element. The name of the element is dimension. So if you switch back, the ID is dimension here. So let's start with the selection first. So JavaScript selector has dollar function and within that we're going to use pound dimension. Now whenever user makes selection that means the event will have a change of value. So we're going to say dot on and the event is change. At that point we're going to have a callback function. So function with parentheses in pair curly braces. So this is where we're going to add the code that will do the magic. So the first part is to capture value that user selects either year or month. So for that, let's start with this outputting the value using console. So console.log and that is actually dollar this. So within the function, you can use this to reference the current block in the val is the value that user selects. So if user selects year, it's going to be year or month. So let's see if this works by saving the code. And I'm going to hit F12 to see the value on the screen. So now, Let's refresh the browser and select a value of say year. It shows year. If I select a month, it shows month. So that part's working, so we're good. Now, the next step is we're gonna use that value with if function, select a block of code and certain actions for that value. So let's start with a variable. So let's define a variable that captures this value. So we, let's call it var dim name. And the value is the value that we are outputting right now. Right? So that will have either value of year or month. Okay. So once we have the value captured in a variable, 
we can use the function so if and within the function we're going to have condition that says if dim name matches with the value of month remember if you go back to the html the value itself is lowercase month or year so here it is month then we're going to add block of code here else or i could use else if also but since we only have two values let's just use else and then pair of curly braces so what are we going to add to this for that i would say let's defer till we get to that point so dimension is month then do something otherwise do something else now at that point we are ready to apply patches to the chart meaning we're ready to change property of the chart so for that we use apply patches method and the way it works is this way we start with the visualization so that's my whiz because if you scroll down all the way the visualization of line chart was created here and the value has been assigned to a global variable my whiz so i'm going to use that dot model so that the model of the visualization dot apply patches so now we're ready to change property of the chart not the layout just the definition so for that it's a method and it takes an array so array will have a pair of square brackets comma the second parameter is the soft patch value what that means is that if you type true here that means whatever changes user makes will only be temporary for that session. So if user changes the dimension to month or year for that chart, it will apply for that session. And when user logs off and comes back, the chart will be rendered in its original form. So we want to apply soft patch by using the value true. And within the array, we're gonna have an object. So object will have three parameters. One is QOP, which is operation, and this is replace. Now, because its object is a property value pair, here I'm going to type replace. So I'm replacing a current dimension of year month on the right-hand side, if you see on the chart, with either month or year. The next parameter is Q path. So we need to provide path of the dimension. In this case, it starts with slashes. So it's slash Q hypercube def, not hypercube because we're not changing layout. We're just changing the definition or the property. And for that, you use Q hypercube def slash Q dimensions because we're changing dimension. Then the third one is actual value. So what are we replacing the current dimension with? So that's Q value. And here, this is a JSON value that resides within a string. And for that reason, it's always good to use JSON stringify function or method over the actual value. So. For that, we're going to go back to our original if else block. And here, we're going to stringify the dimension. So to save time, I created two variables for the dimensions that we are trying to replace. So one is month dimension def, and the other is year dimension def. And as you see, this is an object with whole bunch of values. So you have Q fill depth of month and the label is month. The definition is month, the label is month. And we also are using Q null suppression to true. That means null values will be suppressed. Same way year has year as depth and year as label. 
So these are the two variables that I've defined and I'm going to use them in this code. So for that, we'll start with var and let's call it cyclic dim name. So it's cyclic dim name equal and we're going to use JSON and then stringify method. And within that, I'm going to pass an array. Again, this is an array with month dimension. So it's month dimension depth. And that's the variable that I just showed you. So this is if user selects month. Now, if user selects year, then I'm going to copy this code, paste it here and simply change from month over to year. Right now, just to verify, I'm going to output that using console dot log and I want to show cyclic dim name just to make sure the value looks good. And at this point, I'm ready to apply the value parameter here. And that is my cyclic dim name. Since I already used JSON stringify method, it, I can use the actual variable name. It's cyclic dim name. So to quickly recap, whenever user makes any changes, in other words, starts interacting with that drop down list. I'm checking to see if the value is month. If so, then I'm using the variable that I created for that dimension, month dimension depth, and using stringify method, since it's the JSON value within the string that I'm trying to extract, or else it's year. And then I'm using the apply patches method with operation of replace. And the path is for the hypercube depth. Again, it's the property and not the layout. So it's cube def slash q dimensions and the value itself is the variable. So let's save this and let's go ahead and refresh. And if you want to see the values also, we can use hit F12. If I select the year, I'm seeing the definition of that variable. As you see down here, I have the year dimension defined. It's an object with several parameters. And if I select a month, it shows me month. All right, so the values are showing properly. So I'm gonna close and expand the screen. Now, if I select year, that shows me year. If I select month, it shows me month. And I got a little clear all button here that just used JavaScript reload function to refresh my browser. So if I click on that, it will bring the state back to the original year month dimension. So this is how you can not only create an interactive mashup in ClickSense, but also allow your user to modify property of a chart dynamically by using apply patch method. I hope you like this. If so, on our academy, we have two comprehensive courses for the mashups. So we have the mashup development capability APIs part one, and we just released part two. And I promise that if you go through these two courses, you will be a rock star mashup developers. So please join our academy for a small amount. We promise to take your click career to the next level. Thanks for watching. And until next video, have a wonderful day.